Don't expect much. I don't know, do expect much. Don't expect anything. Alright, do you want to introduce yourself? We are how What's it like trying to get your sound across? Because there's not a lot of acoustic gigs out there. It's more of a metal dominant scene at the minute. Difficult. Very, very hard. This way we do play it, it's normally in the corner of a pub and elements. Or just supporting metal bands. <laughs> which is just weird. <laughs> supporting a lot of metal bands, which is good. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. um, what steps are you taking to try and increase your fan base? Ooh, that's a good question. Facebook. <laughs> Basically, like always constantly going on Facebook and updating as much stuff as you can. We, we set up this, um, well, I, I, set up, I set up this thing called SoundCloud. Um, loads of people have got it. We just download like the music from it and stuff like that. And it's got loads of downloads already within like two days. So that's pretty cool. Doing better than we thought. Like miles it. better than we thought. Yeah, miles. Um, you've recently put a run of videos on YouTube. What's the response been like from the people watching them? Uh, uh, they're, no, they're, they're good. Um, we <laughs> my mate from Australia covered one of our songs. Um, and he's got, I've got my mate from Australia and this girl called Brooke just covering the song and they sing it so well, don't they? Yeah. It's like more of an operatic one. It's, it's crazy. I it's didn't realise it was his friend that I got right excited <laughs> thinking it's four of them covering our songs. How do they know about us? <laughs> <laughs> Ran home to Alex. That's my mate. That's my mate. Because yeah. he, he, you rang me up, didn't you? He was like, oh, some American band have covered one of our songs. And uh, he came out and showed me and I was like, it's not American, we're Australian. That is my base for it. You're alright. Uh, you're looking to get some new music side out at you sometime in the near future. What can people expect from you and you were sound? Oh, you check YouTube out. <laughs> check, check YouTube out. It's all, it's all on there, pretty much. Um, I think if you went kind of theatric and um, almost like film music, some of it, I just want it to be like really grand and imposing for parts of it anyway, and then some of them are just so soft and out there. Loads and loads of strings and uh, violins, cellos, and everything. Uh, big, big, big so donate now. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we are. Uh, you were part of a metal band in one sometime, sometime <laughs> back in the past. What's the difference between playing in a metal band and playing in you know, a more acoustic style band? Being sober. I am sober these days. <laughs> that metal band was amazing. Bad. But um, no, we were, we were alright, but I think with a with metal band you kind of get more fun, you know, like a bit more. Well, the energy while you're playing, right. you're jumping about and going a bit crazy. Right. Yeah, definitely. Shooting. Whereas this is more like you just wanting people to listen and just having a look at someone and then if you look straight in their eyes and they're like, and then you know you've done your job, but with, with the metal it's like you want people going crazy. Do you think with this sound it's more about getting your vocals and guitar right? Because with metal bands it's just noise and jumping about and it's more, yeah, that's yeah. more of that, uh, that's more of the side of it. It's melody in there. It's, it's, a, it's it, it depends, I mean, they're both completely different so it's a bit hard to compare them. As far as technicality, we, like, if I don't hit a note right when I'm singing or playing, I'm, after the show I'll be mega pissed off and myself. And like, oh, that didn't go well, that sucks. And then he'll get the brunt of it. It was <laughs> such a deep or something. <laughs> it did not go how I wanted. I, I think, I think, <laughs> it just has to be right. Yeah. I mean, you can get away with a lot with more metal. You can really get away with going just ape shit because yeah. everyone's like, it doesn't really matter, you just perform. And the song is that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have any free gig rituals? I uh, probably just get nervous. Yeah, that's that's the ritual every time. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it, Joe. <laughs> just like, yeah, can't. It's really bad. So we don't practice, practice anymore. <laughs> no, we don't practice. Although, no, we don't practice. <laughs> Not the best fun to do these days. Ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you most looking forward to doing this year? The culture show. 
Covered in zebra shades. Co covered in zebra shades. The band is zebra shades. Maybe I'll get an endorsement now. We <laughs> <laughs> <The> advertise. <laughs> yeah, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you at a show or at a gig? Uh, gig or tour? Do you want to answer this one? <laughs> um, embarrassing. We, we, were, we were in this band called All This For You. Probably the gig at Selby Town Hall. My bass was out of tune. Yeah, everything went that could go wrong did go wrong. We, I don't think we were really ready for it. Because it was like our first gig and then it was in front of a load of screaming children. <laughs> but at the same time, I played a ukulele that night, so... And I, I hate ukuleles. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly. Thoroughly. I enjoyed that. Uh, what advice would you give to up and coming bands in this local area? To try and push Make friends with other bands. Make friends with other bands, not enemies, because all, most of our gigs have come through other bands, haven't they, really? Just, if you get one support slot with another band, and then the people at the venue see you, and then they're like, oh yeah, these are pretty cool, we'll get these bands, guys back again. But you're not going to get that if you're just an ass. Yeah. There are a couple of bands like that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's about it. Um, I know. What other plans have you got for this year for all? Personally? Yeah, personally, right? Yeah. <laughs> Holidays? Yeah, I'm off camping tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Camping anywhere or just setting up in the street? Uh, 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 Grassington. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be nice. Following the it's rolling across your screen now. <laughs> <laughs> Uploaded tonight, you can see it too. Uh, what was the question then? <laughs> what, what, what are we doing this year? Yeah. Recording, so we don't record it. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to just for I'm, I'm just I'm just sitting on there having a bloody job and sitting on it. Jesus. You try to live on 500 quid for six months, it's not a good idea. <laughs> End up selling your bike. Ah, <laughs> trying to anyway. Then having to pay for your car to get fixed. This is kind of crap. What was the thinking behind doing the colours that you have chose to cover, like fresh prints? We. Uh, when we played when we played Slum and Lettuce, there was this band that did like a, a fresh Prince cover, but it was they just they, they just sang it. Really. They had a twist to it. Like, um, so pro probably for them, and then as soon as Joe learned how to play, it seemed really like funky and solely, so we absolutely went. Have you got any plans for any like recent videos coming up soon on YouTube? We 
for, when we get the recordings, there's one video that I want to do. Um, it might be for Annalee, and it's basically we go to the beach, we turn up on motorbikes, and then we run down the beach with a couple of Mexicans chasing us, <laughs> like five or six Mexicans. It's really weird. And then it's like they're hiding behind the sand dunes, and then we, and then like basically we have a massive fight with some Mexicans, and right at the end we uh, we obviously win, and uh, we ride off on donkeys down the beach. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> hoping to film this, Bridlington Beach. Uh, apparently there's a desert. <laughs> yeah, no, because <laughs> I was looking for a desert in England thinking, oh, there's got to be a desert somewhere. There's no desert. The closest thing I could find was this place uh, on the west coast. <laughs> and it's uh, basically just a load of sand dunes. It might be owned by the army, but <laughs> I'm not sure well, yet. Yeah. We'll find More out. More my intestine zone. <laughs> If you want to be a Mexican or not, you can yeah. music video. Yeah. Contact us via Facebook. Uh, any particular date or time you've got planned to do that? <laughs> on the video. Uh, so when the recordings are done. Yeah, July, August time. And everything goes. <laughs> do you have anything to say to the hordes of angry Mexicans watching this? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I have a shot of tequila on me. Finally, what, have you got anything to say to the people that... Uh, we've just been interrupted by one night stand with Bakewater over a bridge. It's exciting stuff. Is <laughs> that bridge even well. open yet? <laughs> I'm not sure they're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> <Some> metal! <laughs> <laughs> okay, finally, have you got any messages to the people that watch your videos and check you out? Thank you. Yeah. Um, spread the word, let other people know we're here. Listen to our music, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can download our old EP on SoundCloud. If you have a new one, you're not going to be able to. You've got to buy that. <laughs> you got to buy that shit. you got to buy this one. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for okay, listening. Thanks a lot, man. Okay, cheers. Bye.